Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where we are going to discuss something that I think, if memory serves, um, caused a great debate about 30 million years ago when um, I started this channel. I did a video about if if used bookstores was the same as pirating ebooks and that discussion was really awesome that was probably one of the best discussions that um i had on youtube that i started um and those those are rare <laughs> but um that one was really good and I wanted to kind of hit it up again because I feel like there are a lot more people on YouTube, like BookTube, making videos about books now than there, than there were when I made that video. So if this becomes a discussion that people start talking about on their own videos, I would love to hear it. What are your arguments, darling? Here's the deal. Everyone gets their panties in a bunch about um, pirating books. And I completely understand that. But when you go to a used bookstore or you go to a thrift store or you're buying books off of Abe or eBay or um, Better World Books or Half Price Books or Thrift Books or any of these places... That book you're paying for, none of that money goes to the author. None of that money goes to the publisher. That book cycle has already happened. The book has already been purchased. The author has already been paid. The publisher has already made the money off of the back of the distribution channel. The whole fucking thing. So everything else that happens off of that, I guess it's fair game. And people who run used bookstores are basically pirates like and the bookstore is their ship it's their black pearl and they are um sailing the seas of cashing in on someone else's fortune the way i said that was very harsh to an extent but i feel like it, i just feel like it's kind of hypocritical for people to be against piracy but at the same time, want to support their local used bookstores. You see what I'm saying? It, Because um, in both of those situations, the author, the publisher, they aren't getting any more money for that. So that's the first thing. The second thing, I guess, that would come up would be libraries, because this is what came up last time, because I didn't touch on libraries very much. Library books are kind of the same thing. The book gets bought once, and then a bunch of people get to read it until the end of time. Or until the library decides, no one checks this book out anymore, let's have a sale, and we'll sell it and make money off of that. What I will say about this is that um, libraries have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for that book in the first place for them to be able to sell it. Like... When a library gets a book, it's almost like they have to pay, and maybe this has changed, but there was a time when they had to pay a higher amount for that book because to compensate the publisher, since that meant everyone who checks that book out isn't going to go out and buy it. It's the same idea with um, video stores back in the day. Like, if you wanted to, like, purchase a video to rent at your store it would cost like over a hundred bucks because you have to offset the idea of all the other people who aren't going to be getting this. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's a weird thing. So now we come to this idea of eBooks and what's the difference. And there is a difference. So the main difference is this, when someone buys an eBook or um, buys a PDF copy of a book or something like that, they can, give that to their friends 
I guess they could sell that to somebody if they wanted to. But the difference here is, is every time that file moves, there's still a copy of that file on the last thing it was on. You know, like if you were to copy an ebook from a external hard drive to your computer, you would then have a copy of that on your external hard drive and on your computer. If you emailed that to somebody, you would be sending them a copy of that book, but you still have the copy in your email now, along with on your computer and on your external hard drive. See what I'm saying? So it's, um, there is a difference, but, um, so I guess the real conversation here is, is why is it okay though for people to make money off of other people's art and then never give that person anything for it? Like, should we live in a world where used bookstores should send checks out to publishers and authors for a secondhand book? Like, not a lot, like just like 10 cents out of a $3 book purchase. Like, is this crazy? Is this something we should even talk about? Are you like, if those damn publishers and authors make enough money, yeah, no shit, I'm not fucking trying to act like they don't. Those motherfuckers should be sending us checks, am I right? It's just an interesting thing to think about. So what do you think? Do you have a local used bookstore that you love, that you like going to? that you love giving money to? And if so, why? And is it just because they have a good selection? Because they probably only have that good selection because there was a good reader in that town at one point who's now dead. And they got all their books at an estate sale. This is dark shit, guys. What, what are we doing? How do, how do we fix this? You guys let me know. Anyway, <clears throat> for those of you keeping up, Potato Manifesto by Bunny Wild. All the signed editions are gone. I'm almost out of um, the other editions, and I have this many bookmarks left to send to people. And there's stuff written on the other side, guys. But these are all the bookmarks I have left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so that sucks. So one book will not get a bookmark. Maybe I could figure something out for that. Anyway, yeah, I only have nine copies of the book left. There were 25 made, and I have nine. So um, if you want to get that, I would suggest you do that at um, a ridiculous speed because I don't know how much longer those are going to be around. And, um, again, Los Angeles comes out next week. Um, dig it. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down below. Keep buying my books. And mwah, 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 mwah. Mm. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.